All right, welcome back. As you can see, um, I've pulled a few more things out of the way and the goal for today is to get this bloody head off. Um, so first thing we want to do is take this belt off for the um, AC, which means we've got to set this, take this off. That means we can then set the timing, uh, which involves um, a tool that locks over the top of these, but I have to take this out. You have to take the, um, the chain tensioner out. Once we've got all that set and locked in place, we can remove these two. Um, the inlet and next door um, pulleys um, and then it should just be a matter of pulling the head so let's crack on and see where we get this is where I'm glad I got my 360 camera so in here you see that mark there what I've got to do is I've got to rotate the crank to get that over on this side um, and that aligns with a uh, is reached on the vibration absorber I'm not sure what the vibration absorber is. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll have a look at that. We'll get that crank around. Then you can undo these four bolts um, and then it should become self-evident um, and it should just slide across after that. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully that is now lined up, which it does appear to be. So I call that a win. Down here, um, if you can see, so you can see where it says MP, and then you can see this little notch here. So there's a tool that goes over this, you crank it around, and then you lock this in position, and that sets it at 150 degrees before top dead center, apparently. And then when you've done that, then you can check the timing up here to make sure that the camshafts are locked and when you're happy with that but we need to also take this cover off and uh, do the, um, the tensioner so What we're going to do now is rotate, so there's a marker here, we're going to rotate this to a line and that just slots in. So where's my big ratchet? Now we're going to do this, I'll flip the video upside down. So, as you can see, as you can't see, this is now locked in place. That's your mounting position. Ah. And this is secured on here. So this is now locked in the right position. Which means we can now check to make sure this is correct. And hopefully this is gonna fit. So the position of the exhaust camshaft on cylinder eight when is correct when the cam points down. I think at the moment cylinder eight, so this points up um some 180 degrees off. So this points up at the moment. So I have to take this off and go around again. That is again locked in place, and now cylinder eight is pointing down, and the flats. When you look at these, the flats are up, and actually, you can't see it, but 
these are on the right side now to actually get to the head box as well. So the cutouts are in the right place to actually get to the head box, whereas you don't need it on the other side. It's absolutely fine. So let's get our timing tool. So I think this is the right one because then you get the bridge across. Let's get that out of the way. So these should. There is no way massively disappointing but um, I've gone old school so I'm marking where these things line up all right so now I need to remove this tensioner which is a couple of um, Allen's I think that I've secured it <laughs> we'll find out in a second it's under tension um, so I think that's secured it and we will I'll double check the instructions on that, then we can pull the tensioner, then we can pull this, then we can pull these covers, um, and then we can pull the head. We need to remove this, which I think is just those two. So, Two T30s. That chain guide doesn't look too. Oh, don't lose the bolts. I don't know, does that look too bad? I don't think it does look too bad. I mean, there is somewhere on there, but that doesn't look excessive, so I think I might be okay. Release the guide rail screw. Guide rail is loose from cylinder head. Guide rail screw. Oh, I see. So we have got everything out of the way that needs to be out of the way now. Just the cylinder head bolts left and basically we go 10, 9, 
eight seven six five four three two one so we spiral out or we spiral in and oh then the head will be loose how exciting right so 10 is up here the 10 is here Be a hero turn. Oh, Jesus, how <sighs> oh, strike a light. So, in theory, we should now be able to remove the cylinder head because that is bolted. So, a few taps in the right place should break the seal, and away she comes. Clever, doesn't it? 